Hello, this is Corey Turner with The Corey Turner Show. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and let's talk Infinity War. You don't have to be a Marvel historian to enjoy this deep, story-driven tale of galactic dimensions. This movie comes at you quick, fast, and full force in a hill of computer-generated splendor. The visuals in this movie are stunning, and I was quickly transported into a Marvel world. And I went along happily. Have a favorite Marvel superhero? Well, they're in this movie. Heard of a Marvel superhero? Well, they're in this movie. Have a concept for a Marvel superhero? <laughs> well, they're probably in this movie. Yes, Alex, I'll take superheroes for a billion dollars, please. I wasn't expecting as solid of a storyline as was delivered. It was compelling and witty and smart and socially impactful. The Avengers and their allies had weaving storylines that didn't seem forced or contrived, but instead felt as if our planet was under attack and all hands on deck had been summoned to stand against the evil Thanos and his cruel plans for the universe. Thanos is convinced the only way to save the universe is to execute a purge, a thinning of the herd that can only be described as a genocide. To fulfill his plan, Thanos must obtain all of the Infinity Stones and harness their unlimited power. It's up to the Avengers and their allies to stop him. I enjoyed the movie from beginning to end. Things were coming at you fast and characters passed across the screen quickly. And I love that relentless pace. If you aren't a Marvel fanatic, you will still be captivated by this well-crafted story, even if you may not recognize every superhero cameo. Who is that? Which one? That one. Captain America? That's Captain America? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't recognize him with the beard. Or the shield. Oh. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, comment, and share, and please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Let's keep talking about movies.